What's up, y'all? This is Brian Bazik, aka Franchise Play. Yeah, it has been a minute. Uh, if y'all listen to the last video, watch the last video, as well as follow me on Twitter, y'all know I'm having some issues with the HDMI thing with PS4 and all that. What you're looking at here is another one of those Facebook uploads that I did. So I found a way to rip it off of Facebook, but it's not really exactly the same. So this is gameplay to Madden 25 next gen. PS4, Bears and the Ravens, in the rain, y'all know it was a storm like crazy game, got delayed for like two hours or whatever, the Bears pulled it out, yay, but check it out, this is my problem, got a HDMI converter, it came today, I was all happy, I undid the, the package, like, who oh, gonna go, gonna go, gonna get some captures, right, uh-uh, no, it didn't work, uh, out of all of the HDMI, HDMI splitters in the world that have been working for people, Brian got the one that don't work. Look at Brian. Yay, Brian. No, Brian. No, no, not good. So, I got one. I ordered another one, basically. One that I watched some videos of some people using this exact exact model. So, I feel pretty positive that this one's going to work. So, what I'm doing, basically, I really, you know, I got a ton of videos stored up of, uh, of uh you know the rest of the south side dynasty series mlb the show breaking the curse got a lot of videos stored up on all of those games but i really haven't wanted haven't i haven't wanted to post anything that wasn't next gen for right now you know because it's like i felt like if i just start posting south side dynasty and breaking the curse it's gonna be like dude okay everybody right now is on next gen what are you really doing so that's the reason why you know i haven't been posting anything those things are coming back um like i said south side dynasty that's definitely going to get finished uh as a matter of fact the season my first season i've actually played through it already no spoilers i just hope y'all stick with me enough to actually see it as far as the break and the curse i still got a ways to go uh but you know what i'm saying i'm trying to play through that too i'm gonna get as far in it as i can up to march when the next one comes out it's gonna be on ps4 and it's gonna be ridiculous baby it's gonna be off the chain so um, I didn't want to start any series on Madden or on uh, NBA 2K or even on NBA Live, uh, which y'all can read my review for NBA Live tomorrow. It drops on Bleach Report. After it drops and publishes, I'll put the link uh, out there because I'll probably do at least an upload video of that just so y'all can see it uh, through the Facebook workaround. Now, um, in terms of series and stuff... I kind of got a plan for that. What I probably do is just to kind of announce what my plans are. And I'm really keeping my plans in check for next gen because I really want to be realistic about what I'm going to get through and what I'm not. Y'all know that's something I've been working on, just trying to be a little bit more realistic with that. Um, so I'm definitely working on that. And I'm also uh, got some stuff I want to do with WWE. So uh, pause that too because it's not next gen, even though there's no next gen wrestling right now. But um yeah, so pause that. So let's talk a little bit about Madden. So basically, look out for a video uh, for pretty much all of those games. NBA Live, NBA 2K, um, Madden. Um, that should be it. I'm not going to do a series on FIFA. I might do a, a gameplay video or something, but I'm not going to do a series on FIFA. So, but just, you know, keep an eye out on those. And, um, you know, so kind of announcing what I'm going to do with each of those games. Now, let's talk a little bit about Madden, though. Now, you might be looking at this, and some people might be like, man, this looks exactly the same. Well, you're right, but then and again, you're not right, if you think that. If you, if This is if you haven't played it, of course. Now, it might really look like that now. One, because this is a Facebook upload, and I think it's slightly not quite as crisp. Secondly, it's I've made it like a torrential downpour, so it's darker. Uh, but... On the on the on the side that you're right is the player models are like pretty much exactly the same. You know, they it's not much difference with the player models at all. If it, there's no difference really, where the only place you really see a difference visually on next gen is the crowd, the sidelines, and everything is just a little crisper and sharper. I did a review of Madden, and that link is in the description. Um, so the graphics are still good, but they're just not what you would expect from next gen now that's that's like the neutral slash negative aspect 
What is good about Madden 25 is that the gameplay is vastly improved. So like on current gen, right, it was really hard to get a pass rush. You had to like mess with sliders, you had to do all kinds of stuff. And you just saw right there, bursting through there, baskets to sack. What a, did you see that interception at pick six he had? Oh my God, that was, how athletic was that? Ridiculous. You wanna know why Julius Peppers might end up getting released at the end of this season? Cause dudes like Bass making plays. All right, back to video game world. So, the, like I said, the gameplay is vastly improved. The whole war in the trenches, man, that is for real, dude. Because the whole play between like the defensive lineman and the offensive lineman is much improved. You can take control of a defensive player, like a defensive lineman, a really good defensive lineman, the way you used to be able to, and like literally beat a guy and get to the quarterback. On current gen, you just can't do that. I won't. Ca I don't care if you got Clay Matthews, Julius Peppers, Trent Cole, J.J. Watt. I don't care who you got. You're not really gonna beat anybody off the line of scrimmage consistently and get to the quarterback. You're gonna get sliced to shreds. But here on next gen, you can do it. Also, you can't like drop back 788 yards like you could before. And, you know, you kind of get penalized for that now because what you do actually is you create rushing lanes on the outside and stepping up in the pocket is a lot better. It's a, it's a lot more beneficial, which is the way it's supposed to be uh, on uh, on next gen. So I definitely like that, even though I drop back too far. I'm not saying every single time you drop back too far, you get penalized for it. But, you know, overall, I think it's. You know, I, I just had good protection on that particular play anyway. But overall, I think that that part of the game is a little bit better. Now, also, the it's a little bit more exaggerated in regards to, and, I'm not, and I don't mean exaggerated in a bad way. I mean, you can't cut on a dime with running backs the way you could before. The, it's intuitive and it still moves around, but... When you're trying to change directions with running backs, you can't do it as easily as easily as you could on current gen. To me, that was one of the reasons why it was kind of so easy to I mean to run for big big yards all the time. Now it's still difficult. I will say this: it's still difficult to stop the run, in my opinion. But um, a lot of that is about play calling and knowing you know and anticipation and knowing uh, the situations. But I would say it's still kind of hard to plug up those holes. But none, nonetheless, I would definitely say from a uh, gameplay standpoint, it's a big, big improvement from what current gen was. The other thing I really like about Madden uh, on next gen is how it kept every single feature from current gen in terms of game modes and all of that. Right. So your full fantasy draft is there. Owner mode is completely there. Connected franchise every way. They didn't take nothing out. They didn't take out creative players. None of that. If you're familiar with NBA 2K, as awesome as it looks, there's some stuff that was taken out. Like when you create a my player, you can only do pick one of 24 heads. You can't customize his face. You can change hairstyles and stuff like that. Tattoos, but you can't customize his face. So a lot of people online, and you know, who got YouTube series or whatever, is gonna have my players that look a lot alike. So I'm, you know. That's something I'm paying attention to when I'm looking at like guys like QJB and iPod King Carter and them. I just don't, want, you know, those dudes is dope, but I don't want to have my my player look just like theirs. So I'm trying to make my, you know, you know, that's one thing I'm thinking about when I make my my player. How do I want them to look? Because I don't want, you know, me and K Spade, me and QJB, me and iPod, me and Sub the Gamer, anybody like that, or me and Chris Smooth. I don't want all my players to look the same. So. I want to make something different, but that makes it a little bit more challenging because you only got 24 guys, 24 faces to pick. In Madden, they didn't hold back with no features at all. And perhaps some people might be like, yeah, they didn't hold back because they got the same player models. That could be the case. But um, I like the way the game plays. And some people might be like, well, this is basically the way current gen should have played. Eh, you might be right. That could, I, I ain't going to say that's a completely crazy thought. But... Um, all I know is just how this one plays now and the way it plays now is pretty, pretty dope, pretty dope. Best gameplay in football out there right now, because to be honest, to me, NCAA football played better than Madden uh, easily. I don't even I ain't going to say it wasn't close, but it was clearly a better game, had, clearly had better gameplay. But I think uh, next gen Madden 
is as good a gameplay as NCAA was and probably not better. So that's this, this for this little tidbit of next-gen gameplay. Hopefully my piece will be here Wednesday. Peace.